I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Couture TV. So firstly, are we super excited about the title of this video? It has been a hot minute since I have done anything Vuitton related, especially a Louis Vuitton review on an item. This is a two in one part video. I am covering two topics in this video, hence the reason it is quite a hefty length video. I am sorry for that. Um, I did try to keep it down, but I am covering two topics. I don't like doing disclaimers, but I do want to say if you don't like luxury brands and you don't follow Vuitton and you don't like handbags, please X out now rather than, you know, leaving me negativity if you don't like these sort of videos. But if you do, Please stay tuned and yeah, I am super duper excited today to be here uh, to be recording this video not only from a new location that I truly just set up for this exact video but to be doing this video for two reasons because it's a two-part video. Uh, the first being from my gorgeous, gorgeous friend, Emily Clark. She tagged me in her tag video. She created this tag and I think it is just phenomenal. But it is the one bag tag. And look, as my girl Trina Leavers, who also tagged me, said, it is not easy. It really, really isn't. If you do collect luxury bags or luxury brand items, accessories and whatnot, if you were to be in a fire and your house was burning down and you uh, ran out the door saving your animals, your husband and your valuables and then only being able to save one bag, what would it be? I think this is an amazing tag and just like my beautiful girl Emily, I do have to say the one bag that I would save in a burning house fire would have to be my Neverfull GM in monogram print. Not only is this bag just my everything, it is my heart. We have a love affair. It loves me so much. I treat it, I don't treat it like a baby, but it's just been with me since the beginning. It's been through so much with me. It's been through so many trips. It's been, you know, in every country that I've been in, as I think I have said in another video, you know, on planes, on trains, in cars, in cabs, under seats and it's just so stoic. It is still alive, going strong, and it's just the most amazing bag. Emily did say her never full GM, and the same kind of reasons apply for me. If you have been following my channel from sort of the beginning, or for a for fairly good time now, you'll know I use this bag as my briefcase. This was the first ever bag I got from Louis Vuitton. I purchased this from the Surface Paradise Boutique. Uh, the manager of the boutique served me and it was the best experience ever. And I just love that boutique so much. Uh, it's not on Cavill Avenue, where is it? I will leave the link below for it. But it is just a beautiful boutique. They are so friendly and happy there. And it meant so much to me that it was such a great purchase. I knew I wanted to use it as my briefcase as I did have the store. I was coming and going and I knew I had to stuff so much in it, mainly featuring my laptop. I had to, it was heavy. It, it, in the beginning it was a MacBook. It wasn't even a MacBook Pro. It wasn't a little bit lighter. It was that really heavy white MacBook. So I knew that I definitely wanted a big enough bag to carry everything that I needed for my boutique. So this is the bag here <laughs> on the side. Another good friend of mine, Kevin, I have here uh, the gift he gave me, the Hawaiian luggage tag hanging off the side. But that is just perfect because you can see the Vachetta difference. So this luggage tag is still pretty much brand new in its Vachetta. It is still sort of bright white Vachetta. I've got it hanging out here to kind of oxidize with the natural air. But you can see it against my patina of my Vachetta for all these years. So this was the first Louis Vuitton video I ever did on YouTube. It was the unbox 
unboxing or reveal of this bag is when I have my short spiky hair and yes I was very nervous I had no idea how to do it and I I really was one of the first girls out there to sort of do it with with a few other youtubers and I was pretty nervous as you can see if you compare those videos I mean this vachetta is just delicious so this is definitely my one bag tag, Emily, my doll. Uh, that is my answer, exactly like yours. Uh, probably uh, a lot more sentimental than, than anything. Uh, Favourited and sentimental. It's my baby, my first ever Louis Vuitton bag. And it meant so much to me to be able to achieve it. I'm going to move on to the second portion of this video and that is to review this baby thoroughly. So to start up with, the proof of purchase, it's ridiculous, just ridiculous Jerusha. So the proof of purchase will be in there. It did not come with a box. Uh, at the time, obviously it was my first item so I had zero idea to what to do. I didn't know to ask for a box. I didn't particularly care and I know that tons of girls and guys out there don't care either even today and to be honest I have so much packaging now that I just really if um, I want anything else I really just won't ask for it or leave it behind because it's just accumulating like ridiculously anyway this is the absolutely humongous shopping bag it came in and I know that this is the original one because look at the size of the base this is one of the biggest gusset uh, Vuitton bags that you can get and I knew that because when they put the GM in it, it is such a wide bag that it needs to fit completely. Just have a pillow, a, a little scatter cushion stuffing the bag to make it stand up nicely but this is the ginormous blanket of a dust bag. It's just huge. According to the Louis Vuitton website, it is 40 centimeters in width. It is 33 centimeters in height and it is 20 centimeters in depth like so. This bag is made up of three pieces of monogram canvas which actually makes it right way up on the front and right way up on the back and the base portion looks like so and it doesn't have any feet. The Neverfull is one of the most easiest, the easiest, if any, vachetta bags to patina because of the minimal amount of vachetta there actually is to construct the bag. So as you know, as in all of the trillion reviews of Never Fools on YouTube, this bag is pretty much your main shopper tote bag. There is no closure or zipper on the, on the top of it. It is a secure bag, but it only has one clasp to secure the two sides together. Now I am going to show you the most infamously famous thing about this bag and that is its shape. Some people do say that this feature adds security to the fact that the width of the mouth of this bag, obviously the fact it's so huge, the fact that you can cinch these sides does add more security. Hmm. I'm two ways about that. I still think if someone wants to put their hand in your bag in a really crowded area, they're going to, no matter if it's cinched or not, it's not really going to help. But if that is going to give you more security, especially in a big crowd, then go for it. We will say it adds more security, but to do a demo of it, uh, we are going to show you that this is the bag expanded and not cinched at all. So it gives you that kind of flat base sort of triangular shape. And then you take the sides, which there are so many demonstrations on YouTube of this. You fold the sides in on themselves, kind of like a nice... Uh, sandwich you just sandwich them in on themselves like so creating a kind of fold there like that you grab the drawstrings and its pulley in vachetta and you simply you simply you simply pull it all the way up to the top 
on both sides. A far more of a narrowed appearance, much more triangular as such, going inwards like this. And as I said, some people believe that gives you more security because the mouth is narrowed. So there's less chance for, I guess, someone being able to put their hand inside your bag. But there it is cinched and that is what it ends up looking like when you do pull the tires in. I do love that this bag can take on two shapes. Some people are die-hard cinchers. They always keep their never full cinch. They never uncinch it and expand it. And some people only wear it expanded. This is, I guess, another type of Vuitton war that will live out the ages. But for me, I love it expanded mainly because I get so much in this bag that I do need it all the way out like so. Just bringing the bag in nice and close, I'm going to go through all of the brass features on this bag. As I did say, it is only one clasp clip closure uh, to this tote bag, but that is made up of one claw clasp clip and a D-ring, both attached to Vachetta leather pieces and you simply just clip them together to secure the bag shut that way. This claw clasp features an LV logo on the front and an LV logo on the back of each side of the clasp. On each side of the uh, cinch pulls you have six D-rings. There is one on the front, there is one on the back, and there is actually one at the bottom of the whole cinch pull there with the Vachetta leather. On every single rivet of the bag there is a Louis Vuitton printed in a circular pattern on the outsides and on the inside of the rivet as well. It does come with a D-ring that is just placed on a Vachetta piece there on the right side of the pocket. And the hardware on the pocket is one zipper pull featuring the LV logo on one side and the LV logo on the other side. The pocket in the GM Neverfull is probably the most substantial pocket that is ever found in any tote bag. It has tried to be replicated many times, but honestly, this pocket could fit a small animal. The zippers being Vuitton are smooth and well made and the lining of this pocket is actually in a sheen shine lining so that if there are any spills you can quickly wipe them away. The middle of the Vachetta tab is where you will find where your bag is made. My bag stamped Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. And the beautiful original design is the Voyager design. I think this is just so iconic and vintage Louis Vuitton. It was the sign on the original trunks uh, that Mr. Vuitton ever did. And it has the uh, 101 Champs-Élysées uh, address there, Paris at the bottom. I think it is truly Louis Vuitton signature and I know that I think it is gone in the new uh, Neverfulls and I'm quite sad about that. I just want to rave one more time about my Vachetta because honestly I am so proud of it. It is just so beautiful and golden and caramelized from all of the use this bag has gotten. Up here you can see my first ever step stamping of JC. That was my first hot stamping I ever got. And for the multiple questions I get asked, yes, hot stamping is free of charge. Just holding the lining up close here so you can see it. This is the beautiful stripes with the fleur de -lis flowers there that you can see. But this is a fabric grow grain leather ingrained lining of theirs and it is so durable and very hard wearing. The last little detail is underneath the internal flap pocket. You will find under the right hand side the date code stamped on a little tab of Vachetta leather right there under the flap. I am going to go ahead and show you the inside of this bag. Please remember I have had it for five years. I have spilled two pens inside of it. I did cry and life was over as I knew it when I did do it. But 
as I realized um, bags get used, they get worn, worn and the fact is my briefcase just really shows how much I throw it around. There go there is the huge interior of the Neverfull GM. You can see my beautiful ink stains inside of it which killed my life but there they are in all their glory. And now I'm going to show you typically what I fit inside this. Obviously you can fit a small child, a cat, a dog, your dustbin, everything can go in here and it still will probably fit more. That is everything from the Longchamp Le Pliage, which I'm using as my briefcase at the moment, back into this Neverfull GM. So you can see it fully loaded there and we will open that up. Now that is usually everything I will take. I have just clipped my keys onto the D-ring here by my clay. If you did want to just carry this around as a handbag as well, they fit nicely there on the D-ring or down in the pocket. But that is usually everything I will carry in this bag as a briefcase. Obviously if I'm using it as a carry-on as a briefcase with all these things we can mix it up a bit and add a few other items to make them fit as well such as my toiletry 25 keeping it with all this other stuff in here that will also fit i can also fit a wallet so this is my zippy compact wallet in damier ibin i will always need my agenda this is my agenda pm six ring in damier azure and just because we absolutely love them, we will put my new sunglasses from Sports Girl <laughs> down inside here as well. So there you go, as a briefcase or maybe an extra piece of luggage as a carry-on, that has got everything I would need for the plane ride, everything I would need for business. Even if I was just doing a weekend trip, I have makeup and toiletry needs there and I can pop some clothes folded on top as well. So that is the absolute biggest question about this bag is can it be a carry-on extra weekend handbag slash luggage that is so true it definitely definitely can and that is half of next to being my briefcase half of the things I have also used it for keeping in mind the main con or blunder about this bag would be its double straps. These straps, and I'm not going to lie, I have had a delightful GM and that strap is super comfortable compared to these babies. This bag supposedly can hold something like up to 55 kilos or something crazy like that. So I'm never worried about them breaking or de-threading here on the Vachetta plaque. I just care about my shoulder. I have had a shoulder reconstruction, so it's not the most user-friendly bag when I have it overstuffed. I will just do a quick size comparison for you with this bag, because I do know it is an asked question. The war of Neverfull versus Speedy is an ongoing battle and probably will be forever for Vuitton. But this is the most popular Speedy, a Speedy 30. And this is the large size Neverfull, the Neverfull GM. I wouldn't say it's the most popular. The MM hands down cleans out the aisles than this bag because it's more that medium size bag. You can fit a ton in it and it is a friendly kind of friendly sized shopper bag. So there's two side by side. So you have a 30 and a GM, both in the same print in the monogram canvas. This is the 25 and the GM side by side for size comparison. Again, both in the same canvas, the monogram canvas. The last comparison I definitely want to show you is the two Neverfulls I own side by side. This is the smallest, the PM in the Damier Ibin, and this again is the GM. So that is side by side in the Ibin and in the monogram. Okay, so just finishing up, I do, do want to say that if you are considering this bag, if you are considering a Neverfull from the Louis Vuitton line, the new Neverfull with the actual external, it's not external, detachable uh, little pochette that comes with it is sort of replacing the size of the pocket. 
uh, and the zipper of the pocket but all in all it is still an amazing amazing bag I'm definitely not happy with the price increase from Louis Vuitton I definitely think that it is quite substantial and I do know the reason that they are definitely doing that is to really maximize the space between uh, their items and more sort of domestic brand items to really define between those sort of domestic brands and luxury they really want to get a really big margin between them so uh, in that case in that way I do kind of understand it but at the same time I think it's really slack that this bag originally in 2010 cost me 920 Australian dollars and now I think for the new Neverfull with the pochette, the detachable pochette is like 1300 Australian dollars or maybe even more, 13, uh, 1350 Australian dollars. So it's really a substantial increase. I do definitely think that quality is not uh, their key aim now that they have rise, raised the prices sorry some of the quality in the original pieces or even vintage pieces if you can find them on consignment are just unbelievable but yes this bag honestly go and see it in the boutique try it on see how it works for you if you want it as a mummy bag as well as a diaper bag take everything you've got in your diaper bag and stick it down inside this and see See if everything works I definitely know if we would be starting a family I would love to use this as a diaper bag I really think it would be great and after all these years of having it as my briefcase I do know that it is very stoic and incredibly durable as a bag okay I think that is all that does conclude my video on my two-part one bag tag from Miss Emily Clark and my full review on the Never Full GM by Louis Vuitton my one and only amazing amazingness bag that I truly love like in my heart of hearts soul this bag is everything to me and yeah if I did have to run out of a burning house it would be coming with me probably as you saw with everything in it so I want to tag all of you guys watching this video to do this tag by the lovely Emily it's such a clever clever tag on top of that I do want to tag uh, the Lux babe of course to do this tag I do tag minx for all I'd love to see out of her massive collection what she picks to save I want to tag Ariel Christina I'd love to see what she does I would love to see what Sparkle Miss A does out of her collection of Vuitton. I'll tag my girl Gen G and of course, of course, VJ Taylor 02. How could I not? A thumbs up if you like that video, guys. It's nice to be doing a Vuitton review. I know you guys have missed that from me and I will be throwing them in every now and then as I said I would. But I hope everybody is doing really well, guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I will see you in my next one. Take care, guys. Peace. I've always dreamt about eating